Hello everyone, this is Brett Fincer Farms, and today I want to talk about the coronavirus. There's been a lot of panic, and there's been a lot of fear, and there's been a lot of people buying up all the toilet papers and waters, and the news is out there pushing their agenda and their narrative. Yes, the coronavirus is real. To what extent, I'm not 100% sure yet, but I think this is being blown up pretty big, and I think the timing of this all is kind of fishy. I don't know, I'm not trying to say one thing or another totally right now. I like to see more as this totally unfolds. But as we look at things, all the deaths that have happened in the U.S. so far have mostly been elderly people, people with pre-existing conditions. But the CDC estimates that as many as 56,000 people die from the flu or flu-like illnesses each year, but there's no panic or epidemic over that. So I just think it's kind of weird. I don't know. But uh, if we also can see that the government has had a lot of control right now, they've uh, been... Right now, there's been a lot of recommendations, but when is it going to turn mandatory? And I think it's been mandatory in other places, but this is hurting people's livelihoods. This is people can't pay their bills. They're shutting down restaurants. They're shutting down. Uh, they're shutting down gyms. They're shutting down movie theaters. This even affected us. They shut down our farmers market last Saturday. And I just want to thank everyone that helped us and supported. And I just want to thank God for being there and providing for us because I didn't know what we were going to do with all this produce but we put it out there on social media and we were able to sell pretty much all of it so I'm just so thankful for that but I don't know what's it's going to happen in the next the next Saturday or the one after that and we count on that market as one of our you know main in, um, streams of income and so this also kind of shows us kind of a foreshadow of what the tribulations would look like obviously the tribulations will be way worse than this but we kind of get a little bit of a glimpse into it and so i just want to as christians for us not to have a spirit of fear and it talks about this in second timothy 1 7 for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind and as christians we have hope and we know the end and we know the world's going to get worse and worse, but we know every knee will bow. And it talks about, I want to talk a little bit about uh, in John eleven twenty six. If we're dead with Christ, we'll also live with him. Our physical bodies may die, but our spirits will go to our new heavenly bodies. And we have that hope. So don't be fearful. And I want to encourage you to keep doing God's work don't stop this is a great opportunity to get out there and spread the gospel this is a great opportunity to get out there and do god's work and let's not forget about our neighbors and things right now there's a lot of elderly people and stuff and if you're running to the grocery store to make a run and you know do your normal grocery shopping and things which has been totally crazy and hard to just do your normal grocery shopping because everything's out of everyone's out of stuff but if you are go check on uh, your your neighbor and ask them if you know they need something while you're you're down there. Let's check on our elderly people. Let's check on you know people with kids and things that need stuff. And if you have it, let's help them out and let's step up. But if we look at this from a secular worldview, this would be extremely scary. And I could see how there would be tons of panic and fear because there is no hope for them. They don't have God. They have this world, and that's it to them. So I want to talk to you if you're out there and you feel like that, and you're thinking that. We're not promised the next 10 minutes. We're not promised the next hour. And we're not promised the next day. So it's time to get right with God now. And I will start with the bad news and we'll go with the to the good news. The bad news is we're all sinners. We all deserve death. There's not one righteous, not one. But Jesus came to take our place and to pay that penalty for us. To be crucified on the cross, buried and raised three days later, later so we can have eternal life after this. And all we have to do is confess with our mouths, believe in him with all our hearts, and repent and turn away from our sins. So I just pray if you're out there and you're in that situation and you don't know the Lord, confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior. Believe in him with all your heart and repent of your sins. And let's not be fearful, guys. Let's keep on moving forward. I'll keep you guys updated as this goes on. You can go check out our Facebook and Instagram at Fencer Farms Ministry. I'll try to post there and things. I know this is changing hourly and this is changing daily. And so I just thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment below if you like. And keep up the good fight and keep doing God's work. And God bless.